Hey there, today I'm going to show you the Movavi screen recorder. This is a screen recorder that I've been using for my videos for the past several months. I bought it to complement the Movavi video editor, which is what I've been using to edit my videos. And so far I'm very happy with my purchase. The Movavi screen recorder is easy to use, it's affordable, and it has a nice set of features. So let's take a look at the Movavi screen recorder. Hey there, this is Ed Herzog with edherzog.com and I'm here to help you build and grow your online business with video and with YouTube. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a new video. So let's take a look at the Movavi screen recorder. So this here is the Movavi screen recorder and let me say a couple things up front before I take you through a demonstration of this tool. First of all, if you're wondering, am I using the Movavi screen recorder to make this video? I'm not. I can't use the screen recorder to record something while also demonstrating it. So I'm actually using my Logitech screen recorder to record this particular video. But uh, all of my recent videos and all my future videos, I will be using or have used the Movavi screen recorder. So you can see it in action on those videos. Secondly, as I'm going through this, if this is a tool you think, hey, I might want to buy this, this looks interesting, I want to learn more, I will put a link down in the description below and that link will take you directly to the page for the Movavi screen recorder. And then finally, although this is called Movavi, Movavi screen recorder, it's actually a three-in-one tool. So as I hover over each of these, you see here, this is a screenshot, that there is a screen recorder, and then that there is for webcam recording or for taking photos. So it's called a screen recorder, but it's actually a three-in-one tool. So this widget here, you can actually move this and put it wherever you want, uh, though it will stick along the edge of the screen. So I can move it over there, I can move it down here, I can move it over here. So I can move this around wherever I want, but again, it will stick to the edge of the screen and I can click here on this arrow and then it will minimize it and then bring it back up that way. This button here, actually let me bring this back to the top. This button here will close the screen recorder. This here is for general settings and then we'll go through each of these in turn as well. So let's start here with the general settings for, for these tools here. So first let me click here and we'll take a look at some of the basic settings we have for these tools here. Click on that and the screen here pops up. So first of all, you can change the interface language and you can see here they've got uh, roughly 12 to 13 different languages. So you can put it in whichever one uh, works best for you. Here you can, uh, enable or disable countdown. Actually, I should unselect that because I actually do want the countdown. So when you, record a, you know, when you start a screen recording, it's often good to have a countdown before the screen recording starts. So uh, I want that disabled. Here you can hide the recording panel. So I actually don't hide it. Uh, for me, it's not a big deal. It actually shows up down you know, in the corner somewhere, but it shows up while I'm recording, but it doesn't actually show up in the video itself. So uh, that's kind of a nice little feature that you can see the recording panel while you're recording, but it doesn't show up in the video itself. Uh, this is to disable frame blinking during capture, allow window pane selection if you want to be able to select a particular uh, window, capture separate streams, and enable sound notifications. And then here we get more. So you can launch the application at startup of your computer, use software open jail implementation. Uh, you can click here to read more about what that means. Uh, save extended logs for troubleshooting automatically check for updates, give consent to send anonymous usage stats to Movavi, and use alternative, alternative capture mode in case of capture problems. And again, you can read more about that right here. So those are some of the kind of general basic settings that they have available for the screen recorder and some of the other tools. Then come here to files. If I click on this, I can change the default location for where files will be sent to. I can enable this to delete the original recording after export. And then for the screenshot format, you can change whether you want PNG, BMP, or JPEG. Next are keyboard shortcuts. So here it says click in the keyboard shortcut field and press the key combination that you want to assign to the menu command. So that has some defaults set here, um, but you can change these if you want to. Um, I personally don't use keyboard shortcuts, but if it's something that you use, you've got some different options here and you can modify them to set them up the way you want them to be, the way you want them to work. So next up under video, here you can change your frame rate, whether you want it to be five, 10, 15, 25, 30, 50, or 60, you can set your audio quality. And then here you have different uh, options for uh, conversion speed, 
hardware acceleration, et cetera. So, you know, you can look through these and choose the ones that, uh, you know, that work best for you. So next we'll take a look at effects. So first of all, you have the option to show your cursor on recording. Uh, next up, you can highlight your cursor and you can change the size if you wanna make it bigger or smaller. This is one of the things that I've been doing on my more recent videos is having a highlight cursor. Uh, I've got this blue here. Obviously, you're not going to see it on this particular video because, as, as I said at the beginning, this video is being recorded via my Logitech uh, screen recorder, which does not have this particular option. And here I can click here and change the color. Here, if you want to highlight clicks, you can click on that and have different uh, highlights for right and left click. Here, you can give a mouse click sound. So you've got default or you can add your own sound. And then you've got options for keystroke recording options. So do not record keystrokes, uh, keyboards shortcuts only, or all keystrokes. So next come to scheduler. Now this is not a feature that I've used. I don't have a particular use for it, but if for some reason you need to schedule recordings uh, or set a time limit for your recordings, you can do that right here. So here, if you click on set time limit, you can set a duration limit uh, for how long you want it to be. And then after capture, you can either do nothing, sleep, or shut down. Or if you want to schedule recording, you click there and you can set up a uh, time, date, uh, duration for scheduling a recording. Then finally, under sharing, you have options for sharing directly to YouTube or to your Google Drive if you want to do that. Uh, I don't have these set up because I obviously do a lot of editing on my videos before I upload them. But you know, if that's not something you want to do, uh, you can right here, set up direct sharing to either of these right here. So that gives you an idea of kind of the general settings that you can put for these different tools right here. So now we're gonna go through and take a look at these tools individually. So let's start by taking a look at the screen recorder because I assume that's the tool that people are most interested in. So I'm gonna click here to open up the screen recorder. And first of all, if you wanna record the entire screen, which is what I almost always do, I can just click here anywhere and now I'll be recording the full screen. But let's say you don't wanna do that. Let's say you wanna just record part of your screen. Let me close out of here. I can click on this and it'll take me back to the main uh, tool widget here. Open this up again. And if I hold down the left cursor on my mouse and then drag it, I can select here, you know, particular section to record. So right now I'd just be recording this section right here. And if I didn't get this selection right, I can uh, very easily move this around anywhere on my screen. I can use these uh, little dots here to make it bigger, make it smaller. I can move it this way, move it that way. I can even move both uh, width and height at the same time by using these here. I can even, you know, let's say I want something that's exactly 400 by 300. I can just enter numbers in here or use, use those up or down arrows and boom, I've got that right there. So, uh, you know, very easy to set up what it is that you want to record. And as we saw in the general settings, you can also uh, set it up to select a particular uh, tab within your window. So uh, a lot of flexibility in terms of what you're going to be recording. So I'll click here and go ahead and start recording. Now you're gonna see, as I mentioned before, this panel here, at least in the way I have it set up, stays here, but this does not show up in the actual video itself. So I like to have it there, uh, but you know, in the settings, in the general settings, if you don't want this to be displayed, you can turn that off. But again, it doesn't show up in the video, for, so for me, it's fine just to have it here. So here, you know, you can see how long the video is as you're progressing. If you need to make any notations, uh, you can click on, you know, one of these colors here. You can make it bigger or larger. Let's click on that and we can draw. Uh, let's see here. If you want to take a screenshot during the recording, you can do that right here. Turn that off. That would allow you to do a screenshot. This will pause the video. So if I click on that, you'll see that this down here, the 44 seconds we've paused. If I want to restart, I click on that and it starts up again. This here, if you decide you've screwed up, which I do quite a bit, I use this button quite a lot during my videos. I click on that and it gives me the uh, option to delete the recording, permanently delete it. Uh, or if I change my mind and for some reason want to keep it, I can just cancel it and then it won't be, uh, won't be destroyed. Uh, and then once you're done, you click here and that will terminate your video and then uh, your video opens up in the screen here. So now let's take a look at what you have in this particular uh, screen right here. So this here is a very, very basic video editor that comes with the screen recorder. Now, I don't personally use this because I have access to the full Movavi video editor, but if you just need some very, very basic video editing, 
you know, maybe this is, is good enough for you. So, you know, here we could click on this and play this little 50 second video that we, we recorded. You can cut parts right here. This allows you to save the current frame. Here you can share to different media right here. Coming over here, we have options for what you wanna display down here. So all files, videos, audio, or screenshots. Uh, here we can, if you've got, if you have access to the video editor and you want to open this in the video editor, you can click right here. Uh, here you can export it. So if you want to export it, uh, you can click on that. Coming back up here, capture. Uh, I often, you know, this is the button I use the most because, you know, I'll do, I record my videos in uh, several different parts, lots of different, lots of different parts. I'm on, for this particular video, part 13 or 14. So, you know, I then go back and record the next part. So here I can click right here to start recording, go back to the screen recorder. Again, you've got some editing here, cutting, deleting files, saving the current frame, settings for language. Uh, and then some help information right here. So again, it's a very basic video editor, uh, not one that I personally use, but again, depending on what you need, this may be sufficient for, you, for your purposes. So that gives you an idea of what you can do with the screen recording tool. Now let's take a look at the webcam recorder. So I'm gonna click here, wait for this to load up. So, you know, right now the picture quality isn't very good because, you know, as I said, I'm recording this with my Logitech, Logitech camera and so I can't select that right here. Uh, so, you know, the picture quality isn't that great because this is my webcam. It's not my better Logitech, Logitech camera. Uh, if I just want to take a picture, I can do that right here. If I want to start recording, I do that right here. Uh, this allows me to turn the microphone on or off. And again, I've got this little arrow there that allows me to choose a microphone. And then this is for recording or not recording system sounds. And so if I click on that, I'm now recording myself. And then, you know, I can pause. I can uh, stop the recording right there. There again, and I can take a snapshot during it and I can cancel recording if I want to do that. So those are my options with the webcam recorder. Okay, now let's take a look at the screenshot tool. So I'll click here. And the first thing I need to decide is what it is that I want to take a screenshot of. So I can click anywhere here on the screen and it'll be a full screenshot. So here I'll be taking a screenshot of this full screen. If I don't want the full screen, let me back out of here, click on that, open this up again, hold down the left mouse button, drag the cursor, and let's just say I want a screenshot of this uh, Windows icon. Right now, this is what I'll be taking a screenshot of. Again, I can very easily change this, make it wider, make it narrower, make it taller, shorter, I can set an exact size here, 500 by 300. So you've got a lot of flexibility in terms of deciding uh, what size uh, of a screenshot you want. And again, what exactly it is you wanna make a screenshot of. Again, I find this very easy to use, a lot easier than some of the free tools that come on Google Chrome, for example. Let me move this over here. If I wanna add text, I click here and you see I've got, I can do bold, italic, strike through, underline. I can choose my text. Got a lot of different text to choose from. Um, just go with Arial Black. Here I can set the size of the font, um, or I can just enter a number in here. Just go with 30. Put a background in my font, an outline, and then here's the color of text. So let's just go with yellow text, click in here, and then expand that. Oops. And you know, I can rotate this how I want. I can make it, you know, here if I don't like the size. I can make this bigger or smaller, and you'll see that this here will change as I'm moving it. And let me actually keep this a little bit smaller so it fits inside of the, the screenshot. Uh, you know, if I decide, oh yeah, I actually do want a background, you just click there, and now I have a background on that. I can change the color. I can say, oh, actually I want this font here. So very easy to uh, set up text on your screenshots. This here is the arrow. So again, I just click that and I drag and now I have a red arrow, but let's say I want a different color. I just click on that and now I change the color. Let's say I wanna make it thicker or thinner. Click there, I can make it thicker or thinner. Uh, if I wanna move it around, again, I can just click here and move it however I want or move it up over here. So again, you can put this, place it wherever you want. Here you have a line 
And this is going to be the exact same thing. So I come over here, I make it red, uh, come down here, click on that, make it thinner. And again, I can click here and move it around as I want. This here is a highlight box. So I can drag and drop that right there. Uh, I can, I found, you know, when I click here for some reason, it doesn't give me this color. It will change it, but it doesn't actually give me the color that I'm selecting. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. It might be some sort of bug in the program. Uh, but you can change the color somewhat. And you can, again, come over here and make this bigger or smaller, move it around however you want. Uh, and then finally here, you've got different boxes. So uh, you can have a square box, an oval box, or an oval. So just add uh, this here. Sorry, this is getting very full here. Uh, and then I've got that and I can move that there, you know, however I want. Again, come over here, change the color, make it yellow and come down here and make it thicker or thinner. This here, uh, I assume is an undo button. This is if I wanna, again, go back. If I decide, oh, I completely messed up and I wanna start over, I can click there. This here uh, is for copying this to the clipboard. This is for saving it. And this allows me to share it directly to uh, wherever I might wanna share my screenshot. So that is my overview of the Mobavi screen recorder. Again, I am very happy with my purchase and I plan to continue to use the Mobavi screen recorder to record my videos. So if you're also looking for a screen recorder that's easy to use, that's affordable, and that has a nice set of features, then the Movavi screen recorder is the one that I can personally recommend. And remember, click on the link in the description below so you can learn more about the Movavi screen recorder. So that is it, hope to see you on the next video and I hope you have a great day, bye.